Today, I will show you how to make a basic snake game in C. The basic idea is we will make a moving block which is the snake and another block of wood which will appear at a random position each time the snake lands on it. If the snake moves out of the boundary then it will die. So let's start the program. Now we started by taking a new empty file and save the file as snakes.cpp. Now don't forget to give the cpp extension to here. Now I already have a snakes so I will name it as snakes1. Let's save it. Now here we will need three header files. These are include graphics.h now graphics.h may not be available in your code blocks compiler so you can see this tutorial on the top right corner to check it how to include it in your folders now the second header file is time.h third one is stdio.h fourth one is windows.h and fifth one is stdlib.h now let's start with our main function Now we will start by initializing the graph. For this we will give two int variables gd gm then use two function detect graph and initialize graph. For that we type detect graph and gd comma and gm. The second function is int graph with and gd and gm and null as its parameters. Now this will start a graph on the screen. If you compile it, okay. So here we need to give gm. Now if you compile it, a graphic screen would appear on the screen. Now it came, but as soon as I started it, it went away. So let's add a delay of 2 seconds. Now if you run this, it will show this screen and go away after 2 seconds. Now we will give a srand time null function to make the random values of the food actual. Now we will declare two variables for our coordinates of our snake x and y and initialize with its coordinates as 200 and y equals 200. Now we will set the fill style to 1 comma 2 which is the green color. Now we will run the whole program in a loop. Now we don't need to define its parameters because the end parameters will be defined in the for loop itself. Now we set the fill style to 0, that is the black color, by 1 comma 0 and cover the whole screen with a black bar. Now 640 comma 480 are the resolution of my graph. It may be different on your also. Now we again set the fill style to 1 comma 2. Now we will define the boundaries of our program by 4 bars bar 0, 0, 640, 10. Now 10 because the length of our graph will be 10 or rather the width will be 10. Now similarly we define the other bars also. Now we will make our snake. Now the coordinates of our snake are already defined. So in the bar function we will give only the variables of our snake. So we give a bar by x comma y comma x plus 10 comma y plus 10. This will create a snake 
box of length 10. Now we also need to define that what keys are pressed. So according to that the snake will respond. We do this by the get async key state in, and put it in an if else ladder. So the code goes like this get a sync key state vk right write for the right key. Now don't forget to keep it in capitals. The condition which has to be solved then the if else ladder. Now similarly according to right we also give it to left up and vk down. Now we define another variable d to define its direction. Now this variable will be for static direction. Now when right key is pressed, D will become 1. Similarly, when left key is pressed, D will become 2. For up, D equals 3. For down, D equals 4. And if no key is pressed, then D will be equal to 0. Now we need to define another variable, DIR, to give its dynamic value. So DIR equals 1. Now with the switch case, we can give the condition for its direction. So switch D case 0, case 1, case 2, case 3 and case 4. Now we need the snake to move it the direction in which it was moving earlier. So whenever the case is 0, we give the dynamic value variable for its movement by an if else ladder. So we give the code as if dir equals 1 that is it was moving in the right direction then x plus x is equals to x plus 10. Thus it will continue in moving in x plus direction that is the right direction else if dir equals equals 2 then x equals x minus 10 for the backward direction similarly we repeat this for D equals 3 and D equals 4 and the conditions are Y equals Y minus 10 and Y equals Y plus 10 and if no condition is satisfied then D equals 0 and break. Now similarly, we will give the case 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now if it is moving in the right direction that when the right key is pressed, x will give an increment by x equals x plus 10 that, and dir equals 1 to record its direction, then break. We repeat this for case 2, 3 and 4. Now we will add a delay of 100 milliseconds.
to make our program smooth now if we run the compiler okay so here is an error okay the function is vk now right now if we run now let's run the program okay so the snake is not coming out okay so as you can see here we have add the delay before printing the snake that is the bar x y so we remove the delay and paste it after the snake is formed so now if we run then as you can see the snake is appearing and we will can move it as our will now let's make a food appear and set the condition that when the snake lands of the food it will disappear for that this we will give the x and y coordinates of our food and another counter f for our score so the variables are rx equals 200 comma ry equals 200 and a counter f Now after the boundaries are formed we will form our code. So let's start the code for our code. Now we will do this by a do while loop to generate a random value for the code. So do statements while condition. Now the condition goes as get pixel rx comma ry is not equal to 0 and rx is greater than 0 and ry is greater than 10 okay so the value is not 0 10 now 10 because we need to give the food inside the boundaries now if we keep here zero or no condition is given then it may appear on the boundaries that is the zero zero coordinates so we give that rx should be greater than 10 and ry should be greater than 10 now we give the random values rx equals 1 plus rand percentage 620 and ry equals 1 plus rand percentage 460 now this will tell the random function that the value should be less than 620 and less than 460 because that are edges now after giving the condition for the random values we will make the random values to be a multiple of 10 because in the random value generator the values like 48 or 47 may also be created but we need only values like 30 40 50 or 60 we can do this by typing rx equals rx upon 10 and rx equals rx into 10 similarly ry equals ry upon 10 and ry equals ry into 10 now doing this if rx is equals to 48 then rx upon 10 will be 4 because rx upon 10 is actually 4.8 but as rx is an i and it cannot show point a so it will become 4 and again rx into 10 will be equal to 40 thus it will make a digit to be a multiple of 10 now let's make a bar for our food so bar rx equal comma ry comma rx plus 10 comma ry plus 10 
Now we will give the this whole code to be in a condition that whether if the food lands on the snake or the snake lands on the food by giving the condition x equals rx and y equals ry then this code will be executed. Now let's run our code. Okay, so the error here we need to do brackets. Okay, so we need to make a conditional operator, not equal to operator. Now let's run our code. Now the problem is that the food is not appearing. This is because we need to replace the previous food that was drawn. We can do this by set fill style 1 comma 0 for black and bar rx comma ry comma rx plus 10 comma ry plus 10 to cover the previous food with a black bar. Now we again make the set fill style to back to green. Now let's run our code. Still the food is not appearing up. Okay, so here we need to make the food appearing bar outside the if condition as the code is in loop so it needs every time execute bar function. Now let's run our code. Okay, so the food is now appearing up. Now let's land the snake on the food. The food is disappearing and a new food is coming up. So now our game is working perfectly. But if the snake goes outside the boundary, then nothing happens. But in the game, we should die due to it. So let's give the end function. Now for this, we will make a separate function. So let's first define our function int and func with parameter e. Now, if x is greater than or equal to 640 or x is less than or equal to 0 or y is less than or equal to 0 or y is greater than or equal to 480. Now, these are the coordinates for our boundaries. Then, the end function will be executed by passing the parameter f for a counter. Now we first need to define a counter that is our score. So we will define it inside the if condition that f equals f plus 1. And at starting f should be equal to 0. Now after the end function is calculated, we need to break the loop. So break. Now we need to define the end function. So now we will make what the end function is. So end function with the parameter int e. Now we will make the screen pink to show an error and exit the graph and give the died outside the boundary print and our score. So let's set the fill style to 1 comma 5. E equals E minus 1 for a counter. Bar will be 0 comma 0 comma 640 comma 480. 
पावर द होल स्क्रीन और सिस्टम सी एल एस प्रोक्रिया आर टर्मिनल और आर कॉन्सूम प्रिंट एफ यू डाई आउटसाइड द बाउंड्री एंड प्रिंट एफ स्कोर बाय परसेंटेज डी स्लैश एन एंड द वेरिएबल एंड वी विल वेट फॉर द यूजर टू इनपुट समथिंग सो गेट सी एच नाउ लेट्स रन आर कोड Now the snake is appearing. Now, if I go outside the boundary, then it will end the graph. As you can see here, the score is zero, and it printed you died outside the boundary. So now your game is ready to work. Perfect. If you want this code by yourself, and if you don't want to type it, then the link is given in the description. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, then give a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to this channel for more videos then hit the subscribe button with the bell icon. If you have any doubt on this then don't forget to comment and give a your views on this code. If you want something else for your project then you may also give it in the comments. I will make it for you. Thank you.